Hello, British players. How are you doing? Welcome once more to the monthly review of hands for the bidders contest in BBO. As the usual, we have Mark Smith to talk to us about some of the hands. Let's see. Morning, uh, Hanoi. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Good. Nice to see you again. Off for another month. Yes, off for another month. And glad to have you back to discuss some hands. Yeah, nice to be back. We we start with um, the what I believe was the third the third or the fifth hand. Yes, yeah, fifth hand. Yeah. Okay. Yes, hand number five from from last month. Uh, we had the situation where partner um, overcalled three hearts over their week two in spades, and yeah. we we have the minors. We we discussed at that moment that the best way to go was to to use three spades uh, as a cubit asking mainly or or primarily for the stopper yeah and um i i i bought the idea completely because i thought it was a great idea i mean um you can you can after that cubit if you wanted to support hearts you can go for hearts and if you had another idea, you can go somewhere else, of course. But uh, we, you were not sure, of course, because you, you had not received uh, all the answers from the panel. No. Right? But now we, now, we, now we did. And, in fact, they, most of them... Uh, well, the panel well, was split, ex split exactly 6-6. Six, six yeah, 6-6. Six, between six. those who did three spades and those who just took a shot at three no trump. Of course. And uh, and well, those six that uh, that chose to beat three spades, they mentioned that well, they wanted to ask for the stopper, right? Yeah. And uh, in in the um, in the readers, most of them beat just four diamonds. Or, or yeah, yeah. You see, I don't think they thought out the problem because the thing over four diamonds partner's going to be four hearts a lot of the time and what are you then going to do yeah yeah you'll have to go to five clubs for example and well or you, yeah i mean you, you miss three no the, trump and you miss and yeah you, yes you miss three no trump you miss you may miss five clubs so yeah. four diamonds doesn't seem to be the right way to, to approach uh, Simon DeVise had one good idea. He played four no trump as asking for a minor. You know, so that's yeah. one way of solving this problem. And if you want to agree hearts, you start with three spades and then over four hearts or something in part, you can bid backward. But it's, that might get complicated as well. But uh, the bidding four diamonds, you know, you're only going to hear four hearts from partner a lot of the time. So Bidding three spades definitely seems the most flexible action because if partner hasn't got anything in spades, he'll bid four of a minor probably, and you could raise. Yes. And, and in fact, that's what happened at the table was he had clubs. He, he was one, five, three, four. And he bid four clubs and he raised to an easy five club game. The three no trump bidders bid three no trump on the basis that right hand opponent hadn't raised spades, so partner was likely to have something. Or the suit might be blocked or anything, you know, right have a poke club, singleton king or something like that, so they couldn't cash the spade suit. Yeah. Um in fact partner has singleton queen, so you could make three low trump as well. Of course. Um but I think three spades or three low trump were clearly the best bids. One of those two. Or four no trump if that if you had that available to show them minus. And those were the, the three bids that scored the highest. It's a gamble in a way because if you beat three spades, you might get uh, confused with uh, with hard support, and if you beat three no trump, it might get confused as if you had the uh, the stopper. But I, I guess you had to do something instead of passing. I mean, one one panel. Yeah, only David Bird. But in fact, at the table when when it, the hand came off at the table in the alt, uh, Artur Malinowski did pass. Mm. 
and if Barton made three hearts for one forty in the five nil fit. Yeah, and, and and the other on the other table they got to got the five clubs. Yeah. yeah. Well. Right, and then the the other hand I thought was uh, worthwhile watching was the the hand number eight where yeah. partner opens four spades. Yes, partner open four spades, and we we hold quite a good hand, but no no club uh, um, control. So there were I, I I mentioned in in the comments that day in that video that you could either go scientifically beating five diamonds or yeah. you could go like um i don't know prehistorically beating six spades right away yeah yeah, and, yeah those, uh, those were basically the two options that the panel went for a couple passed but uh yeah, yeah. However, I, I saw that I noticed that um, many competitors just beat for no Trump. Yeah. And uh, that doesn't solve our problem, does it? it no, it doesn't. No, because partner shows one key card and we still don't know what to do. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yes, it's just this idea that we can't build a slam without bidding Blackwood. But the slam Blackwood doesn't help at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's an idea that. Um, probably because of the um, how easy it is just to beat for no Trump every, every time you think of a slam. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. So, teachers usually teach <clears throat> that to to students, especially when they are starting. Yeah, and uh, it's hard to to take that away. Yes, one of the things people so have, the, 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 as you say, you learn at the beginning of your bridge life to use Blackwood, but. Uh, Really, Blackwood is a tool to stop you bidding bad slams. It's not a, a, a convention that's used to bid slams. It's used to avoid bidding bad slams. Or you use Blackwood when you think you might be missing two key cards so that you can stop at the five level when you are. And by the time you bid Blackwood, you ought to be fairly sure that if there are enough key cards, you can make a slam. But as you say, a lot of people just did Blackwood because it, it looks like a slam hand. Yeah, exactly. Without thinking about the actual ramifications of, you know, the answer doesn't help them. Yeah. You know, if this partner says he's got one key card, you still don't know if you've got two club losers or not. All right, now we can discuss uh, this month hands, October hands, and we start um partner opening one diamond for vulnerable and we of course just beat one spade and they start with two hearts the the the, the opponents uh, enter with two hearts and partner passes that's an important uh, piece of information of course and um on our right they beat three hearts so it's up to us with this six five and 15 honor card points avoid in hearts and um what shall we do i i thought about this hand that four clubs should be forcing what do you think oh yeah definitely yeah new suit the three level was forcing so new suit the four level certainly is of course and um i i Pretty much don't don't see options here, because um, being vulnerable and and they are not vulnerable, we don't want to to punish them here, to to penalize them here, do we? Well, I don't think so, and I think the panel will probably vote for four clubs almost unanimously. I mean, it seems the obvious bid. Uh, when I watched at the table, the man bid four hearts. Mm. Hoping that that showed some sort of two suitor. Maybe he didn't. He was worried that four clubs wasn't forcing. Or... Of course. So he, he wanted to make sure that partner wouldn't pass. Yes. So he bid four hearts. And his partner now wasn't sure what to do. So he bid four spades. On two? One. Oh. Partner had, uh, partner's hand was... Something like uh, Singleton four small, Ace King Queen to six, and Jack Doubleton. Mm. 
So six so diamonds. Six, six, six diamonds is an easy make, yes. Mm. If you've been four clubs, partner bids four diamonds, and you've presumably bid five diamonds. You might not get the slam, but you, you get to gain the right game at least. Of course. Because four spades, four spades went down, of course. Because part, what's partner supposed to do over four hearts? Partner thought that four hearts was some sort of strong four spades bid, or I suspect most people have been four clubs. Okay. Then hand number, number, number two. Well, two is also going to be a dud problem, I suspect. This actually is a companion hand to mm, yeah. one that we used about six months ago. Yeah, I, I remembered it too. We we held a, a 6-5, I think. Yes, we have ace to five spades, yeah. six solid hearts, yeah. and the queen doubleton club. So the contract you could make was six hearts. So I put this problem in to see if anybody would raise hearts or show their club control. But I suspect that most of the panel are going to just bid four spades. They think it's a choice between three spades and four spades. Yep, that's what I thought too. I said, well, four spades here. But I, yeah. I sort of remember the hand, the, the hand, and I think I remember you mentioning that you would like yeah. to see the hand from the other perspective. Yeah, from the other side, yeah. yeah. yeah but but it's, you know, so it's, I suspect it's just going to prove too difficult to reach six hearts. Yeah, definitely. On this hand, you know, we're going to get the four spades and make ten tricks. And... Yeah, definitely. I suspect that both most people will score pretty well on one and two. Yeah, they seem pretty uh, straightforward, as you say. Yeah. Then we, can, we, we, we go. Yeah, to... now we get now we get to the more difficult ones. <laughs> uh, the third problem, uh, partner, partner, sorry, partner beat three hearts. Yes, over their Muidenberg, I think it's called five spades and four plus in a minor. Yes. And of course, South or our right hand opponent be the four clubs. Yeah, which is basically to play in part as minor. Yeah. And we suspect that the minor is going to be clubs anyway. But apart from that, we have we have great spades and great support for hearts. And uh, the problem here is, I guess, how to show that. And I'm guessing. Uh, we could go from f four hearts, which it sounds like too little, to four spades, maybe um, five hearts. I don't, I don't see much more than that. I think we are, we are looking, we're trying to look for a slam here. So I don't see. Well, I think, yeah. Well, we could cube it four diamonds. We could cube it four spades. We could cube it five clubs. Or we could bid some number of hearts, four, five, or six. Yeah. So there are a lot of possibilities. True. Uh, the object on the hand, at, when it occurred at the table, was to avoid bidding slam. Because mm. partner had singleton king nine to six, singleton ace jack ten to five, so there were two aces missing. There were two aces missing, of course. So it's gonna be hard to. But anyway, if I if I bid, uh... we bid four spades, five or bid five clubs. Okay, so you have to bid then five hearts, I suppose. Yeah, because you don't have the would... the diamond although, ace. Although, although he's got a singleton diamond and a singleton spade, he might bid slam even then. Yeah, it, it's a very difficult hand to stop. Yes, here. it is. Maybe, yes, maybe, you've got, you've... maybe someone's going to to say, "Well, we we have too too much in spades," and that's the truth. We have yes, to... that is a good point. Yeah. Uh, our king queen of spades are, are useless, of course. Yeah. Um, the king of diamonds is a dubious value. So our hand probably looks a lot better than it is. I think. I think the the panel will be focus more on getting to a grand slam you know they'll <laughs> that then then to stop in in game then in to case. stop in five yes yes indeed definitely um, you know i think that when you see this hand you you're trying to work out how to get to seven when that's right true. rather than thinking that six might be too high true yeah it's true well um then we have uh, the fourth hand where we open one more trump 
Uh, yeah, make a change. The op- makes a change. The opponents haven't bid. <laughs> we have nothing in clubs. And we have great hearts. Partner seems to have spades and diamonds. Yes. And uh, the, the problem here is whether to be the three note Trump, risking the, the club, uh, the natural and normal club uh, lead, or else. <laughs> I thought of, uh, when I saw the hands the first time, I, I thought uh, of being three hearts. Because I also thought of being three spades, but I said if I beat three spades, it's going to look like I have four, and I don't. So Yes, because we could easily have four spades here course, in this auction, of course, of course. Of course. So three hearts, for me, I I'm, I, I think I'll, I'll choose three hearts. Um, I, think, I, I think the choice, the choices are probably three hearts or four diamonds. Exactly, that was what I was going to mention next. Four Diamonds is uh, the only alternative I, th- I see. Uh, but uh, I suppose some uh, um, brave people are going to be 3 no Trump anyway. Some people will be 3 no Trump. The advantage of three hearts, the disadvantage of three hearts that suggests five. Mm-hmm. Um, but it keeps 3 no Trump in the picture. If part of it is 3 no Trump over... We three would, hearts. We pass, and that's it. Yes, we'll probably pass. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we've got this 4 3 3 3 hand. You know, do we want to really play for 11 or 12 tricks rather than nine? Mm. Yeah. I mean, you know, how good is our hand? It's, there's sort of good bits and bad bits about the hand. It's uh, The shape's not very good. The the honours, you know, we have tricks. The Queen of Spades is a good card because Fuck's got four of them. We've, of course. we've got the King, Queen of Hearts are obviously tricks because they, they go together. Yeah. The Ace, King, Queen. Um, but you think if Fuck was four, one, five, three, do we really want to get beyond three no Trump? Yeah. That's a question here, as you say. And, uh, um, as usual, I think three hearts being the 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 minimum we can bid will probably be best. Hand five. Yeah. Well, we never like these sort of hands. No, this case because we 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 five four in clubs and hearts, and partner just uh, double their three spades. He op- partner open one diamond, but. Uh, our only values here are the is the king of of spades, which uh, well at least it 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 could be well placed. Yeah, but, but we are not gonna beat three no trump. That would be out of the question here. We have nowhere to get tricks from. I think. Yeah, well, I mean, that's if you like, there are four choices. Three no trump is one of the, one of them, but it's the worst choice, I think. Yeah. Then of course we you have. We have uh, four clubs, four hearts, and I suppose the other choice would be to pass. Yes, I agree. Those are those are our four, cho- four choices. Yeah, yeah this one's going to be pretty difficult because, uh, I mean, you want to play in a major if you're going to play at the four level. But, of course, you want to show your um, longest suit, which is not a major. And... Uh, your only values are in space, so maybe you can uh, uh, make five tricks in defense mm, easier than ten tricks in offense. So, yes, the, yeah, the, problem, the, problem, be... the, the, the problem, of course, is that partners going to double on most by one hand. So he's got one spade and five diamonds. You know, if he's got three hearts and four clubs, then bidding four hearts is not going to play well. Mm, true. If he's only got a three card heart suit, let's give him ace queen x of hearts at this. You really want to play that in four hearts? Well, the argument for bidding four hearts is that it's a guess, and that four hearts has the greatest upside because when it's right, you score a game up. Yeah. Um, what about in favor of four clubs? Is, isn't it the fact that if partner? Uh, doesn't like clubs, he can go to four, to four diamonds and then we can beat four hearts. Yes, if, yes, if partner's four six or something. Mm-hmm. That's a possibility. 
Um, I suspect it will be a battle on the panel between the optimists who will bid four hearts, <laughs> the pessimists who will bid four clubs, and you'll have some passes and some somebody try three no Trump. Okay, we'll we'll see about that because well, I, I don't think three no Trump is going to be chosen by the panel. But uh, yes, I I agree with you that four clubs, four hearts, and and double are going to be in a in an interesting battle here. We'll see. I think this is I think this is one of those hands where <coughs> area. After the hand has happened, you say, oh, yeah, maybe I should have passed. <laughs> you know, I think at the table, most people wouldn't pass, but passes often is the winning bid on these hands. Yeah, because I, I, I was thinking that sometimes these decisions have to do with uh, who who are you playing against, right? So... Yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, I think one spade and three spades are both pretty normal. All right, all right. They've got a lot of spades between them. You know, that's you know not a lot of high cards. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> well, let's move on to hand number six. Again, uh, three clubs by them, three hearts by partner, five clubs by our right-hand opponent, and we have a powerhouse again. Yeah, well, this was a very difficult hand that table very few pairs got right. This was the auction at most tables. Mm. Uh, and the object was to get to a grand slam in either red suit. Whoa. That's going to be tough, too. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, is, is, is five diamonds uh, forcing? I, I don't think so at this level. Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember what I thought about this end. Yes, I thought about this end. I, I said, oh, we can use our uh, some some people's favorite uh, tool, which is five no trump, pick up a slam. Well, that I think you're you're right. I think that will be fairly popular. Uh, that will be a popular choice. Yeah, but it doesn't address the problem. That addresses the problem of which suit to play it in. Uh, but not the level. No. Mm. I mean, partner's hand was king, queen, x, ace, queen, jack to six, queen to four, void. Wow, I mean, just a perfect fit. <laughs> it is. Yeah. You know, and I watched it play at about 20 tables, and I think two of them got to the ground. Well, those who, who got to the slam, to the grand slam, I think, I, definitely I, think to, I think one of the French pairs did, I think Alan Levy bid six diamonds in this auction and his partner raised to seven. Mm. Of course. Uh, I don't yeah, yeah. I don't remember the other auction. I think one of the other auctions they may have bid seven clubs at some point and somebody oh. bid seven something over it. Of course. But uh I think this is a very difficult hand. Yeah. Yeah I definitely. you could do you could do lots of things. You could bid one possibility is five diamonds, another is six diamonds, six hearts six clubs five no trump mm. you can make an argument for all of them yes definitely um so lots of choices on this hand mm. um i think if six diamonds shows a good hand with diamonds and a partial heart to it that's perfect i think six diamonds is the right bid you know i i have you have to worry on these hands a bit of thinking it's a Humpty Dumpty bid, i.e. a bid means whatever you want it to mean. <laughs> uh, but it seems that's the sort of hand that you would bid six diamonds on. Because that's the hand I'm looking at, it's easy to say that. But, uh, yeah. but I think five no trumps will definitely be one of the options. Um, probably six hearts will be an option. Maybe five diamonds. As we say, there's lots of choices on this hand. Yeah, yeah, definitely lots of choices. Well, this one is going to be also pretty interesting. And uh, the next hand, we we have quite a great. Yeah, no, yeah, this is a, this is a hand. That, this is a question of evaluation. I think. Okay. You know how good is your hand? Yes. 
Yes. Um it, yeah, it, we, we have the fact that partner passed to diamonds, so uh, probably partner doesn't have uh, much. He probably does have quite a, a few number of spades, but uh, not enough high card points to to think of uh, doubling them, right? Well, well, when I originally set this hand, I set it as a problem from partner's point of view. Mm. But when I gave it to a number of people, they all thought it was obvious. Okay. So it came to the question of whether the bid this hand made was right. All right. All right. So yeah, I, I think uh, the choices here might be doubling to spades or bidding three diamonds or bidding three clubs. Um, three spades could also be a possibility. Um, four diamonds. Okay, four diamonds. Three, you say? three heart, three hearts. What? What's the idea of three hearts? I have hearts stopped. Yeah, well, I guess that's what it shows. It shows yeah. a good hand with a heart stop. Yeah. 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 The thing is, the diamonds. Uh, in, in on a good day, diamonds might bring six. Uh, so, sorry, seven, seven tricks. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when, when we get uh, 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 Michaels like this one, normally things are not uh, well distributed, well well behaved in the suit. So let's, let's see last, the last hand. And... Uh, another another non-contested auction. Yeah. Another non-contested, but this, yeah. I open one of Trump, and this time partner splintered my ace king queen ten, and of course that's not a, a, a such a nice uh, occurrence, you know. But uh, we we have two discards, or maybe three discards for partner. We also have uh, the spade spade ace, which uh, is a good card for for a slam. But um, our heart suit is not that good. I mean, it could be worse, but it's not that good either. And um, of course, we would prefer to have king queen in diamonds instead of clubs. Yeah, sure. But the the, the thing is, we have we we have seventeen on our card points. We we have the maximum partner would and, expect. And 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 the hand is prime. Exactly, we have uh, most, most, mostly controls, yes. Yes. Mostly tricks, yes. So, I mean, the options, I guess, going sort of down in terms of pessimism are four hearts. We could just bid four hearts. Yes, yes, of course. Um, four spades. We could, bid, we could bid four spades. Yeah. We could bid four diamonds. We don't want to commit ourselves beyond four hearts, but we want to show some interest mm. as a little, sort of last last frame sort of thing. Yeah. Or we could just do Blackwood. Mm, yeah. So all in all, as usual, yeah. uh, interesting problems and interesting hands, and I I hope uh, people enjoy it uh, once once again, and they I hope they like this video to. To show them um, the, the the possibilities and some uh, some way to to think about the the hands. And yeah, the other the other thing I'll I'll say before we sort of finish today that people should be careful not to give away points. <laughs> there was an enormous number of people in the last set making insufficient bids mm. or illegal bids. Uh, there was a hand where partner bid four, left hand opponent bid one spade and partner bid four spades, and a large number of people doubled mm. partner's four spade bid because wow. they obviously they obviously thought right hand opponent bid four spades, not partner. Mm. So you know, just pay attention to the the auction because <laughs> um, obviously you scored zero, you double partner's bid or make an insufficient bid. Yeah, uh, you know, and that's. 
that's you know just throwing away points um you know i mean part of the, the objective on these sort of a set of problems like this is to avoid the zeros you know so you know if sort of double check to make sure that they have people double check they haven't made a bid that you know wouldn't be allowed all right yeah i mean please concentrate when you answer the problems so that yeah. you don't make that sort of mistakes that and yes. uh, and you could you could take that that advice also to the table because i i suppose if you make that mistake in in this uh, situation maybe you're not paying enough attention in that's true but of course we've become uh babied by online bridge because of course the computer doesn't allow us to make those bids which at the table you know i mean we must all remember the table where people make insufficient bids and that sort of thing but of course it never happens on the computer because the computer doesn't allow them yeah well mark uh as usual thank you very much for, yeah. for the pleasure conversation it was a pleasure to to hear the comments about the hands some insights about things that maybe I hadn't thought about. Definitely. All right. Well, thank you very much, Hanoi. Thank you, Mark. See you. I will see you next month. See you next month. I'll speak, speak to you between then, I'm sure. Of course. And I'll send my answers before the 15th. Absolutely. Very good. Thank you. See you later. See Bye. you. Bye. Bye. And that was it for Mark and his comments about the October hands. I hope you liked it and of course I hope you get better results this month. Remember to leave a like on the video and to subscribe to the channel and see you on the next video. Bye!